I have been waiting to make this video for the longest time, about two and a half, three months now. And I figured, now is the right time. Modern Warfare is on the horizon, a couple weeks away. It's now time for yours truly to review the absolute clusterfuck that was Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Before I do that, please, I have a lot of friends in the following gameplays you see in today's video. Do me a favor, check them out on their social media pages. Give them a follow if you feel so inclined. And of course, I have a couple of links myself. So, check me out as well. I'm a pretty cool guy to talk to on social media. I, I don't really, uh, I don't really fucking do that whole drama searching bullshit that uh, people do on social media for attention. So, I'm a pretty chill motherfucker. So, and of course, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I don't give a shit what you do as long as you interact with me in some way, shape, or form. You can tell me to go fuck myself. I really don't even give a shit, to be honest with you. But with that being said, let's talk about Black Ops 4 and how it is Call of Duty as a franchise's biggest fucking failure. And that's exactly what this game is. It's the biggest fucking failure in Call of Duty history. I don't even think Infinite Warfare can, or Ghost can be considered a failure as a game anymore, or even Advanced Warfare. Because Black Ops 4 had so many fucking issues that it's just, it's astounding how people play and people swear by this fucking game even. Let's, let's explain. First of all, I'm pretty goddamn sure that most, if not, there's like probably 65-70% of the content that's in this game in terms of maps, characters, specialists, all that shit. All of this shit is recycled from Black Ops 3. Hell, I mean, half the fucking... I think more than half the fucking, uh... Specialists are from Black Ops 3. You have, uh, the Reap... Uh, what was it, the Reaper? The fucking robot guy that came in DLC. I forgot his name. Reaper, I guess? You have Ruin. You have, a uh, Battery. You have the Seraph. You have all that shit. Of course, they got a couple of new ones, but... Honestly... They're not all that fucking interesting. A lot of people more or less gravitated towards the stuff that they already knew. And I quite frankly don't blame them. I mean, and in the maps, I can honestly tell you the only good maps in this fucking game were the maps that they recycled from other fucking games like Black Ops 1. I'm playing on, I'm playing on fucking Firing Range, one of my favorite maps of all time from Black Ops 1. Also one of my favorite noob tubing maps. That's a different story for a different time. Uh, they had fuck. what else did they have? They had, uh, they had a lot of different fucking recycled maps. Jungle, uh, damn, there's another one that's coming up, I forgot the name of it in the next gameplay. Uh, I don't know why I forgot it, but it's, it's a solid, it's another good map from Black Ops 1. Uh, I don't think they recycled, did they recycle anything from Black Ops 2? Shit, I remember. Honestly, this whole map is basically recycled bullshit. I mean, the only original shit that's in this game is probably the guns and maybe a few other things. But honestly, and the only good maps, like I said, were the recycled ones. All the new maps were fucking terrible. Some of the worst fucking maps I'd ever seen in a Call of Duty in my entire life. The way this game looks is complete and utter garbage. I can't stand how this game looks. This game looks like a cartoon. This just looks like a fucking cartoony, shitty, lower quality version of like, I don't even know what, Black Ops 3? It's just, look, that's what it looks like to me. It's, it's such a shitty fucking looking game in terms of graphics. And then, we, get, we have to talk about this. We have to talk about the how this game basically copied off every single other game known to man. Uh, Battle Royale, one of my biggest fucking issues with the game uh, at first. Uh, I was completely against Battle Royale being in Call of Duty, period, because I figured Call of Duty used to be the innovator of the first-person shooter uh, FPS genre. You know, no one could touch what Call of Duty was doing at the, uh, for, a couple, for a very long time. Uh, and at some, somewhere around, along the line, there were games that started copying, that they started to copy off. Uh, Destiny with the supers and shit and the, with the specialist, uh, Fortnite and PUBG with Battle Royale, and the list goes on and on. It's just, and now there's a, and now we you know they're copying off Battlefield, 
with the you know ground war mode with the 64 player modes which i mean i didn't mind it because i think black ops 5 ba black ops 5 battlefield 5 needs a kick in the ass and they need to have some of their uh player base taken away from them because the game is absolute shit and ea and dice you know, they don't seem to do much, do too much to fix it, and some of the stuff that they do try and fix often breaks other things in the game, so that I kind of forgive to an extent, but the point I'm trying to make is this, guys. The game is, this game is the epitome of them copying off anything and everything, even their own fucking games with the recycled maps and content. Then there's also the talk of the Black Ops Pass, you know, probably one of the most pointless DLC passes of all time, people will swear by the fact that it's a scam. Because I see Thunder's, sh I see Thunder's tweets all the time about this game. Thunder absolutely uh, hates the Black Ops Pass because he will often say, I don't think I've ever run into a single DLC map ever since I got the pass. Uh, how much do they ca charge for that thing? Like 60 bucks, 30 bucks? I don't, I don't even fucking know. But all I know is if you spent money on the Black Ops Pass, it seems that you wasted your cash. You wasted your cash, and I don't, I quite frankly don't feel bad for you. Uh, I, I honestly don't. I mean, that's your money you wasted on a shitty ass fucking game like Black Ops 4. I mean, another testament is the game, why this game is so shitty. I mean, I, for a long, the longest time, I'd even touch multiplayer. I didn't touch multiplayer at all. Like, I only played Blackout, because Blackout was like the only thing I enjoyed playing. Then I got bored of Blackout, because Blackout would be the same old shit to me over and over again. I mean, how many times are you going to reinvent the fucking wheel in Battle Royale? You're not. It's And so I realized that, and I started to get bored with the fucking content that they were producing, and I just, I had a love-hate relationship with it. I mean, I, as much as I hate this game, I had a love and hate relationship with Blackout. I had a lot of fun times on Blackout that I absolutely sucked balls. I did ask any of my friends that played with me. I was the worst fucking Blackout player probably of all time. But all in all, I still enjoyed it for the time being. I just wish that, uh, I really just wish that it was better. I just wish that it was a little bit better and didn't look like a fucking ch ch child fucking drew the map. That's the other thing. The fucking, like I said, the graphics in this game, some of the worst you'll ever see. The UI in this game is even trash. Like, how the fuck could you fuck, how could you fuck up the simplest thing in a, in a multiplayer video game? The UI main menu. How, how... Why is it that every time I fucking load this game up, or every time I loaded this game up before I fucking deleted it like a month and a half, two months ago? Like, why did it look like my game was having a seizure every time I tried to press a button? That's just what it was like. It just... I can't... Fucking... Stand it. I just can't stand it. This game fucking blows. The 150 health, fucking terrible idea. 150 health plus Treyarch hit detection is the worst fucking combination of any video game I think I've ever had the experience of being in. 150 health and Treyarch hit detection, because we all know Treyarch has some of the worst hit detection in Call of Duty, and of all the developers. I mean, Modern Warfare might be giving it a run for its money at this point, because that hit detection was whoo ass in that game. And then... Last but not least, the last thing I want to touch on that I absolutely fucking despised was the loot system, the tier system. Once again, another thing they copied off Fortnite, but it didn't. you didn't get anything fucking worth a damn. All you got was a bunch of useless, shitty-looking skins, cat stickers, the running joke in the Call of Duty community, like a bunch of dumb stickers and shit. Uh, they even, like, I think there was even something where there was, I didn't really pay too much attention to it, but if I'm correct... There was a thing that was... It, there was a, a controversy with this game. Where... Black... Uh, uh, there was a Red Dot site that you unlocked or something. And then, after a while... They... They got rid of the site. And they charged it for like 2 or $3. Okay. So, you're gonna tell me something that you could have gotten in this game for free. Uh, you then have to pay $2 for because they took it out of the game. Oh fucking K, Activision. Oh fucking K. And finally, the f and I, 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 don't, I want to mention this as well, the fucking hammer, that $20 fucking hammer that they made you pay for, if you fucking bought that shit, you gotta be the dumbest motherfucker in the history of gamers. Honestly, like how can you sleep well at night 
knowing you spent 20 fucking dollars or something like that on a hammer in a shitty, one of the shittiest Call of Duty games of all time. I don't know, man. That's my rant. This game is a fucking failure. It will always, to me, it'll always be considered Call of Duty's greatest failure in the history of this franchise. Nothing about this game was fun to me. I said that the Modern Warfare beta was one of the worst gaming experiences of my life. I think the top worst gaming experience of my life was any time I touched this game. And that is that. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Do you agree? Disagree? Tell me why. Subscribe and follow all my friends in the description. Shout out to JD for getting this sick, uh, very sick play of the game there. Anyway guys, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all on the next one. Have a good day.